Have you ever wondered, can I move all of the photos and videos that are on my phone or tablet straight to my computer and then get those off of my phone or tablet? So quickly delete them to free up all that space. Well, if you've asked yourself that, so has another viewer. They left a comment a few videos back asking if they could do this easily, right? I'm gonna show you on screen how to make this happen with the built-in software so we don't have to go download anything weird. The program's already on your Windows computer. It'll work for 10 or 11, but since most people are moving over to 11, I'm gonna show you how to do it on screen on Windows 11. So let's move those photos and free up that space on our phone or tablet. Okay, so here I am on my Windows 11 computer and aside from the computer and obviously your cell phone, the one thing that you'll need will be a cable that you can plug into your computer. So it needs to be a USB like this one is on the end and then uh, whatever plugs into your phone, right? Not everybody has the same type. Mine fits my phone. You need to fit one, uh, find one that fits your phone on the other end, okay? So before we go plugging this in, what we need to do is talk about the software that we're going to use on our computer. It's already built in to the Windows operating system to move those photos over and then quickly delete them. So that application is called Photos. Very simple, nothing complicated here. That's what it looks like right here. I've got it on screen. I've got my cursor on it, okay? If you wanna get it out there on your uh, desktop like I did, you can hit Windows key and R and in the open section next to open in run, type in shell apps folder, shell colon apps folder. That'll take you to your application folder where you can find photos and then drag it out and drop it into uh, onto your desktop, okay? Other than that, you could always search it down here, type in photos and boom, there it is in the start menu search. You can open it from there, okay? Doesn't matter, good point. The point is get to photos. So now I'm gonna open up photos. And here we are. Let me break, break down the menu here that we have inside of photos. So on the side, we have the gallery where it'll show photos that we already have on the computer. We have our favorites, which is pretty self-explanatory. Your favorite photos, you can favorite them from inside of the Photos app. And then we have OneDrive. You can connect your OneDrive and access your OneDrive photos from right here inside of the Photos app. So that's kind of nice. And if you have an iCloud and you're using uh, iCloud Photos, you can hook that into the Photos app as well and get your photos straight from your devices like your iPad and your iPhone. Pretty nice, okay? But that's not what we're looking for today. We're moving the photos from our phone with a cable. So we're gonna plug in the cable now that we're at this screen. I'm going to hook the one side into my phone and the other side is going to get hooked into my computer. Okay, so boom, I plug it in. I immediately got a notification on screen that it says, allow this device to access photos and videos this device will be able to access photos and videos while it's connected to your iPhone. Then I have two options, don't allow or allow, okay? So I'm going to select allow and it makes me put my passcode in. So I'm gonna put my passcode in. My computer now has access to my phone, okay? What I'm gonna do is choose the import option up here in the top right, that's gonna show up my iPhone right there in the list, okay? There it is, Apple iPhone. That's the choice I want, obviously. So I'm going to select my phone. Okay, so it has loaded the photos that are currently on my Apple phone, my iPhone. There's four of them. I removed all mine prior because obviously I don't want you to see all my personal photos, but here's some pictures of my carpet. And I can choose the option here that says select new or select all because in this case, all of them are new, okay? Now, if they were just like four new and uh, or three new and one I already had, it would say um, three, select three new, and then select all would be four, right? Okay, that's kind of nice, right? Because if I add new photos, let's say I don't realize what's new and what's old, it automatically shows me in here what it is, right? If it's new or if I already have it. So in this case, I'm gonna select new. I'm gonna add these four items. You can create a folder, right? Like. Uh, carpet okay and then i can click on that and import those in now once that's done i can choose select all and then the trash can icon up here to delete them out very simple boom 
Now there's no more photos, so it's got nothing to show. Okay, that's it, pretty simple. Just plug your phone into your computer, open up the Photos app, import the new photos or all of them if they're all new, and then delete them off. Now I have plenty of room on my phone. I can go out there, take more photos, take more uh, videos and fill it back up. If you're having trouble with anything you saw in this video, please reach out to us at the number you see on the screen here. We can help you transfer the photos and videos if you're having trouble with what you saw today in the tutorial. Thank you for watching and make sure you hit that like and subscribe down below before you go and I'll see you on the next one.